Bad news and high heels made me go off the rails But one look at her, she's oh so fine I know I've got to make her mine She's just my kind, I can't get her off my mind She's my kind of woman, I need a soul Hello les amis, welcome to Amour Alai Show. Today I will show you how to prepare perfect and delicious risotto with mushrooms. For the recipe we will need salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, white wine, butter, beautiful rice, I have here arborio rice, then of course mushrooms, any mushrooms that you can find, they are good, uh, fresh mushrooms, dry mushrooms, we will need one onion, garlic, of course, parmesan cheese. And here I have beautiful chicken stock that I made today. So let's start. First things first. We will need our mushrooms. So you can cut them however you want. It's not important that they are perfect. Mushrooms are full of water anyway, so they will shrink. You can imagine. Beautiful mushrooms I have. As you can see, I'm not throwing anything. Simply why? Because everything is food and you paid everything. So this is not for free. You paid it, so why will you not eat it? It's eatable. I always put a mixture of different mushrooms and I'm advising you to do that if you can, of course. As I said to you, you can put whatever mushrooms you like, wild ones, whatever you find in a supermarket close to you. Just be sure that they are eatable. Only if you are cooking for your mother-in-law, then you can put some other mushrooms. You have uh, some beautiful mushrooms like I have here. I will keep them whole and when I will saute them after I will use them for plating. So I'm advising to you to do the same or however you like. Mushrooms are prepared. So now on the hot pan We'll put a little bit of oil. Our mushrooms go in. We'll add a little bit of salt. The salt will help to release that water that we want. Garlic clove. Gali has a tension to burn super quick, so this is a good tip, guys. You keep the garlic with the skin and you just smash it like this and you add it inside. And as you know, in our show, we love garlic. We want to give them flavor, so how will we get that? We want to remove water, what we are doing, and then we will toast them, they will get that lovely flavor. And you will see how will they shrink because uh, mushrooms are full of water. And what is important guys, you have to enjoy. In cooking, everything is allowed. Always when you are doing that, the heat is on maximum, always. Because you want to remove that water fast and give them the flavor. You don't want to cook them. Beautiful. Mushrooms are perfect. And now I will saute these little ones that I keep uh, for plating after and decoration. 
Nice one, Zin. A bit of salt. This one I will keep a whole because that will give uh, such a good appearance and also flavor, of course. I like when you have a texture, you know, when it's not everything blended. Our little ones are done. And this is gold. All the flavors are now here from the mushrooms, so we want that. We'll take one spatula and you will deglaze that. You can do it with wine or here I have a stock, so I'll put a stock. And you scrape it. All this We will need one onion. We want to just sweat them lightly. No color. A little bit of salt. We want that onions become translucent. That's important. Onion is beautiful. Here I have, as I said, arborio rice. That rice is perfect for risotto. And it's important to not wash the rice. Because it, it's packed with starch. And you want that for creaminess and everything we will give to the risotto. So, rice go in. You want to sweat the rice a little bit, no color, super important. Rice is in a stage that is absorbing everything, so now it's absorbing these lovely onions and getting the flavor, after we'll absorb this beautiful chicken stock and mushroom, so it will be packed with flavors and that's what we want. You have to work simultaneously when you are doing the risotto, as you know here I have chicken stock, which has to be on the same temperature as your risotto. You never add cold liquid. If you're a vegetarian, no problem. You can put water or you can replace it with uh, some uh, vegetable stock or whatever you have on hand. Now I will add a little bit of white wine. Let the alcohol evaporate. If for, for any, any reason you can't put the wine, you can put the water, you can put stock or whatever you have. Super important that you remove everything from the side. Now we will start adding our chicken stock. Stock you are adding little by little, allowing that rice absorb it, which is important. And it's important to always stir it, that rice doesn't stick or burn. And I will always advise you to use wooden spatula. You don't want to damage the rice. If you will use metal spatula, you will break the rice and we don't want that. So I highly recommend you to use the wooden one. Now I will season it a little bit. Salt and pepper. With salt, always be careful guys, because as you know, Parmesan cheese is salty, so be careful. Making the perfect risotto, it's combination of everything. You dance between chicken stock and risotto and you are looking, you're trying to hear what is going on and you are adapting. When the rice needs more liquid, you're adding it and you always have to be here. I like my rice slightly al dente. So you're adding the liquid Till you don't reach that point and what we have here this is that beautiful liquid from our mushrooms and also on the beginning what I deglaze with the stock so this is packed with flavors so I will add that of course inside we are now feeding our our rice with all goodies so as you can notice risotto becomes more creamier and creamier as the rice releases the starch you will be amazed how the rice is actually thirsty. Ooh, our rice is looking really creamy and tasty, so I will try it. Mm. 
Parfait. That's it. Now, our mushrooms go in. So, all fire. We will add cold butter. Butter will give that shininess and lovely flavor. And now it goes this beautiful fresh parmesan. I love it. And that will add more creaminess and flavor, of course. Wow. I always advise you to try after the parmesan. So if you want to add salt, pepper, you can. Oh my God. That's amazing. Now we can plate. You always do it on the bottom a little bit like this. Now I will put these lovely mushrooms. Of course, so generous with Parmesan. And what I have here are these beautiful Parmesan crisps that I will put for decoration. If you don't know how to make this parmesan crisps, you can always check in my video here. This looks amazing. Let's try this piece of art. Mm, this is amazing. Rice is packed with flavors. Everything what we put inside from chicken stock, from this liquid from the mushrooms, and then mushrooms have that uh, lovely flavor because we toast them. Everything, it's amazing. That's it, guys. I show you how I make beautiful mushroom risotto. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Merci.